now in this lecture we will be finishing up all the auth routes that is login and sign up but before we proceed to that we have to initialize the prisma client so we have imported this prisma client from at prisma client now we will say const prisma client is equal to new prisma client and if that's it like if you want to provide the log levels as well you can say that log query so we want all the logs for the database queries since we will be needing this prisma client in the controller file as well to perform all the queries we will say we will have to export it so we'll say export const prisma client now let's move to the auth controllers so in order to implement login and sign up we will be needing two packages one is this bcrypt and one is json web token so bcrypt is used to like uh, to store the hash of the password in the database so that the original password doesn't get exposed and json web token is used to issue the jwts for the front end or the mobile app so that they can authenticate the users in the for the requests so let's do this so if you go to the terminal like i have already installed these two so if you go to the terminal and type npm install bcrypt and json web token it will install all the dependencies for you so let's go ahead and use it. So first we'll define the route for sign up. So in the sign up we will be receiving all the data in the body. So first we will destructure that. So we will be getting email, password and name. So in the next lecture we will see how we can define the schema and first validate it before like the flow reaches to the controller. So we will see that in the next lecture. And now what we have to do is we have to first create the user. First, like we have to check whether the user already exists or not. So we will say let user is equal to await prisma client dot user dot find first. where email colon email or you can just give the shorthand of this as well and we have to make this as async so if user is there what we have to say is throw we have to throw the error that user already exists And if user does not exist, then we have to proceed further. So if user does not exist, we have to create the user. So user is equal to await prisma client dot user dot create. And inside the create, we will pass the data. And in the data, we will say name, email. And for the password, we will say we have to import something from the bcrypt. So import we have to import something from bcrypt and that something is hash sync and you can see that it's giving an error so it means we have to initialize the type file as well so just copy this go to the terminal and install the types and once the types are installed you can see that if we retype this uh, it will give the autocomplete so we will say password hash sync we will say sorry password and we will say the salt round will be 10 so it will iterate 10 times to generate a salt here so it will generate the hash for this password and the user is created now we will say response.json and we will pass user so I guess that's it for the sign up. Let's test this. Now in the auth routes, we will say post and we will import sign up and we will say sign up. So I guess that's all. Now let's run the server and PM start. Okay, now let's test this in the postman. So we will creating we'll be creating the postman collection for all the routes that we'll be defining. So 
the connection name will be e-commerce and inside this connection we will create our first directory which is auth so like this is how the things in the production are done like they are structured pretty nicely now in the auth folder we will add a request and we will say it is a sign up request and we will say http colon slash slash localhost it's not https it says ttp let's use this api auth slash sign up it's a post request and in the body we will say raw type will be json and we'll say name test and email will be let's say test at the rate gmail.com and password will be let's say bc123 now let's hit send okay it crashed let's see the reason for the crash email is undefined in the request body okay so before like using this what we have to do is first we have to configure the middleware as well so app dot use and we will say express dot json so remember like earlier we have used body parser to parse all the J json requests but since express has this in built middleware which is json so we will be using that now let's see if it's working or not okay now you can see that it's working and if you look you will notice the password it's like encrypted or hashed so that's how it works so if like someone gets the hold of our database so let's go into the database first connect this go to the database and in the users if someone like gets the hold of the database they will not be able to figure out the password because it's in the hash form so that's the reason why we were using bcrypt as a hashing library so that's it for the sign up in the next lecture we will see how we can log in the log in the log in a user sorry my bad <laughs> log in the user and generate the json web token so see you in the next lecture